Uh, welcome to the monthly update. Uh, update on abode new homes, abode property management, what's happening around the territory and the housing industry. And uh, so it's, without doubt, it's been absolutely flat chat. It's been busy, both uh, Northern Territory, things are really firing up. The housing industry is actually running about 120% uh, on top of what it was 12 months ago. So basically, if you're looking at um, 12 months ago, we we're building 375 homes a year. We're now pushing out, based on the latest figures, over 700 uh, permits coming through. So what we've got is the same amount of builders with double the amount of work and, uh, and tradies as well. So there's definitely a tightening on trade supply out there. Uh, and that's not just for Darwin as well, other regions and, and across Australia. So what we're finding is uh, the price of materials going up as well, so it's quite a, with inflation coming through, material prices are going up, so house prices are going up, as well as the labour pricing. Um, with supply and demand, the, the labour is a shortage and there's definitely, uh, we're seeing an increase in labour coming through from trades and, su and supplies right across the board. So that's the, uh, the new home side of things in the Territory. The, uh, also the land, land is, there's basically no title land available out there at the moment. It's, uh, it's, quite, um, it's quite unique actually, the fact that we had 12 months ago, we had a good stock of title land sitting out there that you could go and buy and build and start on that straight away. Now moving forward we're actually uh, got to wait now for three to six months for land to come through. So they're pre-selling land and then developing after that. So if you are looking at wanting to build you need to start looking at land uh, sooner or later because as it's coming out and being released it is moving quite quickly. Moving on to property management, uh, same thing again, there seems to be definitely an influx of, of population coming to the Territory and the property management side of things is definitely really busy. Uh, I know the girls are running at 0% vacancy at the moment uh, and I know we we're talking at our sales meeting just recently and they've just got a new property come onto the market and we haven't even had a showing yet, they've had eight applications for that property and people are putting in uh, applications with higher offers than what the asking rent is. So that just gives you an indication of what's happening. Um, with that we're looking at, we're sort of coming into May very shortly, uh, end of April. You've got the dry season coming. We normally have an influx of people come through into the dry season and, uh, and that'll put more pressure on rents and housing as well. Okay, so the, the new home sales, the girls in new home sales, um, once again, very strong demand out there for it. Uh, the properties are going onto the market and selling uh, very quickly. We just had one last week. Uh, property came onto the market. It's actually sold before it went out there. A buyer came through, just great timing, uh, and the client's got the asking price for it. So you can just see there the, the strong demand um, for housing across the board between rentals, new homes, and, uh, and the existing property market. So uh, outside of that, the territory is uh, going very strong. We've just had uh, our Prime Minister up here yesterday and announced another 747 million investment into defence. There is a lot of defence money starting to get spent throughout the territory now, and we can see that circulating around uh, through the industry and uh, you know there's no doubt that uh, we're very promising moving forward with the territory you've got the onshore gas uh, is getting progress in there Santos has also announced more um, with the uh, gas out there as well um, defence spend as I said and there's a lot more stuff coming through so uh, they're very proactive in regards to investment up here and uh, things are moving along. So, so with the influx of sales coming through, uh, right across the board in Australia, the housing industry has, has gone gangbusters and, and it's not just the territory, it's right across Australia altogether. With that, there's been a, a strain on the supply of material. So what we're seeing is um, we're seeing material costs rise very rapidly and some of those material costs, uh, anything that's been imported from overseas has definitely risen. Uh, timber, there's a major shortage of timber uh, in, right across Australia. Steel, we've seen a, an increase in steel of over 19% in the last, last three months with more to come. Uh, concrete is, is going up. The likes of taps, anything that's coming in from overseas is going up. Um, so right across the board, we're continually getting price increases and uh, information from suppliers saying there'll be increases coming through. Not just increases, but also stock levels as well. So there are um, PVC piping, for instance, there's a shortage of resin for the, uh, the pipe uh, manufacturers. So there's a shortage of, of pipe uh, in the industry uh, and this could cause challenges moving forward uh, down the track in regards to uh, being able to just stock and if we don't have pipes to put in grounds then we can't actually start houses. So just something to be aware of, uh, there is major supply challenges coming through and add that to the labour supply as well. Um, you know, territories are doing over 125% more than what it was 12 months ago. Uh, with the same amount of, of tradesmen on, on site and obviously so everyone stretched as far as that goes. 
comes back to supply and demand. It's that supply and demand will push up the pricing of, of trades. And we've seen that already. We've seen that the last couple of months come through where a lot of our, a lot of our uh, contractors are actually put, putting the prices up. Um, other, other price rises as far as material goes, plasterboard, just been notified that plasterboard's going up as well. Uh, insulation. So it's right across the board that we are expecting to see increases. Now, what's that do? It, that basically increases the cost of the home. So if you are looking at building, uh, the sooner you get in and lock in those prices, the better off you are. Uh, obviously, if you leave it tw for 12 months and then all the prices go up, then that's only one way to go, and that is your house price will go up. So that's the latest update on, uh, on the supply of materials and labour around the Territory.